guys, Dave and Anthony and I are super excited to announce we have our very first Daily Driven Exotics official California headquarters. Oh, we're back, baby. Sorry I left you guys. We've been doing very important things. We have huge news for you. And we have Anthony back in the vlog. And he's never experienced the SVJ. <laughs> What do you think of that? Pretty good, I wonder if that cop back there noticed. So we have some huge news, that's right. We have a DDE headquarters here in California. We're on our way to show it and reveal it to you guys. This has been years in the making. I can't tell you, we've come from a little garage in my home to finally having a legit space here in California where we can do all sorts of amazing things to create content for you guys and build the cars I've always wanted to build. We're about 10 minutes out. Baby, <laughs> 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 he's rocking that thing. Well, you guys, Dave and Anthony, and I are super excited to announce we have our very first. Daily Driven Exotics official California headquarters, or as I would like to look at it, like a clubhouse. It's definitely a clubhouse. Amazing. So what you're about to see is we have a garage, a place to store, but also build our own personal cars, fix problems when day breaks everything. One time in the fence. Oh, 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 no. And we also have a specialized chef's kitchen in here. Yeah, it's insane. It's like living quarters. It's just absolutely perfect for us. It took a long time, it took this years in the making. So we want to take you guys inside right now and give you a quick walk around, keeping in mind that we haven't taken possession of this place yet. There are some things from the previous owner in here. And unfortunately the owner who still owns this building passed away. He was a huge car collector. I feel like it's really in alignment that we take over and take good care of this place and make him proud because he had a whole bunch of amazing cars in here and he was very passionate about what he did. And well, you're about to see. Quick interruption to thank today's sponsor, which is pretty cool because one of you guys a few months ago mentioned this product to me and I've been using it ever since. It's the morning here on Vancouver Island. It's nasty and rainy. And normally I'd start my day off with a cup of coffee, but I've changed my routine. I'm using, that's right, Athletic Greens who's sponsoring today's video. Athletic Greens is a daily supplement that contains over 75 minerals and vitamins and more good stuff for your body. It makes you feel healthier, makes you feel better. It gives you energy, all the things you need to really balance out your diet. Now, as you guys know, we're always on the road traveling. It's hard to really follow that routine. We don't always eat the healthiest, super easy. A glass of water and just one scoop of athletic greens, mix it up, drink it before breakfast for best results, and you're good to go for your whole day. The best part actually tastes good. Just take one glass, one scoop, here's a good to go. Now what I really like about this product and why I've noticed the biggest change for me is immunity. It contains vitamin C, zinc. It's been working really well for me. I feel better, I have more energy. Now you also may have noticed how nice my skin looks, which is kind of funny for a dude to be admitting, but like, I'm for my age, I'm 39 years old, pushing 39, pushing 40, you know, I'm getting close anyways. And it contains biotin and vitamin E, so my skin's never looked better. And that's honestly the best part about you guys. It's really simple. We're busy, we have lots going on, especially here at DDE. It's the all-in product you need to feel good, look good. It offers a ton of benefits. And the best part is really, really, really easy. And we're gonna hook you up with a special deal. Athletic Greens is giving the DD fam right now a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D plus five free travel sachets with your first order. Time to get your greens. Go to athleticgreens.com slash DDE and start your order right away. It's really helped me. I hope it can help you as well. I love this product, I believe in it. Click the link in the description right now. Try it out for yourself. Back to the vlog. So without any further ado, as I like to say, Dave, lead the way. Let's go through the garage section. Door number one. We have the garage entry right here and a little door on the side to get through. And this is where the magic's all gonna start because Welcome. as soon as you guys come in, you have about 7,000 square feet right here of car storage, <laughs> as well as a two post hoist in the corner for car maintenance yeah. and repairs. That's right, so the two post service lift, we have five storage lifts over here, and that's not it. We'll get that in a minute. But in the meantime, how awesome is this? It's so crazy. It is like, insane. Like, you guys, look at this. Step back and look. Now, I know you're probably wondering, this isn't exactly the color scheme we'd go with. Plus, he was mainly using this for storage, and I don't think he did a ton of maintenance, maybe a little in the corner. So what we're probably gonna do is spend some time, we're gonna pull all the flooring up. Yep. We're so gonna we're gonna go straight, concrete floors, we'll get someone in and polish 
all the floors up, which is gonna take a little bit of time, but you're gonna get to see a complete transformation from the very first time you're seeing it today to what we want it to become. And it's gonna be a huge and epic process, a lot of work, but a lot of fun because what it's gonna end up being for Daily Drone Exotics is gonna be absolutely amazing. We're so stoked. For the first time, Dave, we're gonna be able to have all the cars in one place. Every car in one place. It's actually never happened on this channel, ever. ever. We're gonna do it, we're gonna move all the cars down here, they'll be here stored, protected, and you can sit there in the morning and be like, okay, which car are we driving today? It's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be really cool. And it'll be a place that we'll have some time in the future, an open house, where you guys can come and actually come and see the cars. All in one place, we'll do some sort of an open house and we'll make sure we warn all the neighbors ahead of time. So this is where we're gonna have all the cars stored. These lifts will probably get replaced with some new lifts from Ben Pack, just like the ones that I have in my home. Fortunate for us, we already have a Ben Pack two post hoist right here that we can get to work on the cars immediately. So there's not gonna be a whole lot of you know transition time. We're gonna hit the ground running because we have projects. We have to get the F12 finished. We've got the 488 to diagnose and fix. If Alex and the team up again, Tawny, if they find some time, they might get it done. And then we have the motor for the 720, which Alex and Tawny will complete. But then we have some big projects. Like I have some monumental car builds I've always wanted to build and the timing just wasn't ever right. And this is gonna be the home of making some of the wildest exotic cars I promise you guys you will have ever seen ever in the whole world. Like I have some really crazy stuff. And we're talking like full builds, not just body kits. No, like the real deal, like next level stuff. Real deal. Can Question. you fit a triple lifted uh, stacker in here? I thought about that. I think we might be able to. We put triples. That means 15 cars just right here. <laughs> should we do Should we do triples or just leave it doubles? We'll have to measure it out and have a look, but we could do, tri would you do triples? Absolutely, why not maximize the space? It would be pretty nuts. You can buy more cars, right? We can buy more cars. Oh, that sounds just like trouble. As you can see from here, you can drive in and we'll get into the living quarters and some of the things past these walls, which are amazing, especially right here. It's one of my favorite things of this whole garage. There's a full kitchen right there. But let's walk a little further in here. Um, two post hoist. We'll be able to get a couple of guys from the race team in here. We'll be building and maintaining the cars. So the second something breaks, you guys, it's not gonna be this long process to find out what went wrong. We'll tow it directly back here and dig into it right away. We're gonna find out what broke, why did it break, and how do we maybe strengthen the car? Make it more bulletproof, as I like to say, right? Like the Mercy DD proof. A lot of the fans in the comment section are like, well, tower when cars break, how long it takes to get fixed. And that's because other shops are really busy. They have customer cars. We're gonna cut that part out now for repairs and maintenance and do it right here, right now. And we can actually see it happen right away. Right in the house. But the story idea, I wanna what broke on that car. Uh, some people say Dan blew the engine. I don't think so. I think it's an oil line. Yeah. We'll be able to find out soon. I didn't blow the engine. Nah, I didn't. <laughs> Would never do that. What, about 7,000 Seven, square feet? It's, it's a total size is 8,300 square feet. 1,000 of that is mezzanine. So 7,300 lower level of actual livable, usable space. It's huge. And then mezzanine is okay. over here, past this forklift, up these stairs, and there's 1,000 square feet behind that wall for storage. Nothing yeah. we're gonna get into right now because again, there's some stuff up there. There's stuff kind of everywhere, but we wanted to get in here and give you guys the quick lowdown as to what we've been working on for so long. And even before the new year, like this has been in the works, this specific spot for the last two months. Two months, yeah. Of straight Dave emailing, calling, talking to everybody to get this to happen. It took a lot to get this to happen. You mm -hmm. remember, we're not US citizens. So to, to be able to do this, we have to show a lot of financials, more so than someone who actually lived here. Yeah, it's a process. So yeah, we couldn't show any of our bad debt. So again, he had other cars sitting in here. There were cars and motorcycles. This guy had an amazing amazing OG car collection. It was also big into F1. Tell them about one of the fun things we found in here. Yeah, so we were here earlier the first time. There's actually, this was all blocked off with some tarps, but behind there in a glass case was Nico Rosberg's actual championship suit from the year he won yeah. F1. Wow. Yeah. And really? And everything. Yeah, and everything. I tried to write it in, but. Yeah, they wouldn't give it to us. It to us. I don't know, is this actually a photo of him driving back in the day? Yeah, because this was with the suit. So the suit was right over here somewhere and that was with the suit. Yeah, that's old Nico right there. So this gentleman was big into to F1 and motorsports, and he had a lot of cool stuff in here that I'm not gonna talk about, but that we got the privilege to see before some of it got moved out. And look at this, more lifts, more space. This is just unlimited potential. I and mean, really, you could fit, if you had triples in there, you could fit man, 25 cars in here, more. Smokes. Really, they use all more space or more. And the best part is we're probably gonna use this back section to do some like secret projects. And those are the big ones I was talking about. They're gonna take, you know, like the nine to 12 months to build, but when they come to fruition, you're gonna be absolutely blown away. And I think quite shocked that we're capable of doing some of the things that uh, we've always outsourced before. This is all of the space here that the cars will be living in. And then we're gonna be tearing again all this up, replacing these lifts and all this other stuff's just not gonna be in here. We're gonna clean up. It's gonna be a huge transformation. You 
guys are gonna come along for the ride. We're really excited because some of you who are watching this right now could be local to this area. So it's gonna be really easy for you to come when we have an open house, which we will announce and come by and check it all out. Some of you maybe need to travel a little further, but we're gonna have time for you. We're gonna walk through here directly from the garage and we are now kind of inside away from the garage and there are multiple rooms in this space. So the first room is obviously this, and we're not really sure what we're gonna do here yet. Maybe a gym? Uh, Maybe a rocker room? Uh, a rocker room? Yeah. Computers, <laughs> some desks. We will be, by the way, hiring some more people. We're looking specifically for very professional, experienced editors, video ed editors. You know, someone who has an eye for basically what we've been doing. Editing vlogs, making them pace well so that they're entertaining for you guys to watch. Then back here, room number two, this is just kind of like an open space. Office Space. Office space, some cabinetry. What's cool is we just have so much room to do so many cool so things. Much. So we could actually make this like a little like uh, some simulators and play F1 simulators in here if you we want. We could. Yeah. Video games. Yeah. Right, Dave? Needs one chair in Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're not sponsoring this video. What? They're not. <laughs> Bathroom number one, right here. We have through here, which it gets pretty cool, another front room. This might be my office, actually. This could be Dave's office. We can look out the front. And then over here we have kind of the front area. This is the front door. It's kind of covered right now by uh, some blinds, but you have the front entryway right here. Our neighbors, by the way, over the last couple of months, we've gone around and met a bunch of the people in this area. Amazing people. We're all gonna get along real good. Probably have a big barbecue when we kick this off. Anthony's oh, yeah. found his yeah. desk. He's like the vice president Anthony. This stuff's all gonna go, this previous owners, but we will be putting something in here to greet people. This will be the entryway into the DDHQ. This could be, this could be your office. And this is crazy. This could be another office. So many rooms. You put all your, I don't know what you put in here. Your shoe collection? I would put your my shoes? shoe collection, my DD hat collection, my merch collection, all that sort of stuff could go in here. All my collectibles. I got a big collectible guy. Big, big collectible guy. And we continue on. This is crazy. We're getting close. My favorite, favorite, favorite part of this whole oh, place is right here. Yeah, we'll get to it in a that. second. So here we have another massive office office space. This is Damon's office because it's big and burly. Well, we, we learned that the previous owner had a caretaker for all of his cars and all of his collectibles and the caretaker actually lived on site. So he lived here. So he lived, he had like, one of these was a bedroom and they have a dog bed and he probably had a dog. If you have any ideas of what we should do with some of these rooms, <laughs> let us know. Video game simulator. What other fun stuff could we do? Collectibles. DD screening room for exclusive screening of DD vlogs. Oh. DD. Hello contest, fans can watch a vlog before it's live. This would actually be a cool room that if we we put some like a big projector up there and put two rows of seating oh yeah or like one big sectional in here we could sit here and watch vlogs on like a 90 or 100 inch screen that would be cool yeah like a little theater room now here is my favorite room of them all this garage has a full chef's level kitchen yeah no bs look at this first of all this is the exact fridge i have in my home it's a double sided fridge we got freezer on this side refrigerator on this side, all stainless, stainless cabinetry. The wine fridge is gonna go, unfortunately. Probably yeah, good, probably a good thing. Probably a good thing. And then this. look at this. Look at this, like. And the garage is right there, you guys. We'll be able to have dinner. This is like, this is like, we LOA'd this, law of attraction. This is like our version of a daily driven exotics fast house because we can have dinner and we can hang out with family. It's amazing. It's amazing. So speaking of dinner, there's a dining room over here. Yes. So we'll be able to do all sorts of things here, like cook some epic barbecue, have some fun times, and tell some jokes. This is the, the, yeah, the family the room where we have like a whole table in here. We sit around and have dinner together and breakfast. Like epic, dude. Dude, now look at this. Of course, right there. Can you open this all up? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> sit here, eat. Look at the cars. Food in the kitchen's right there. There's three bathrooms and yeah. one has a shower. Dude, there's nothing else we could ask for in a nothing. space. The DDE clubhouse. So? I love it. You're gonna to see this whole place transform right before your eyes. And you're gonna see the first cars arrive here. I know we drove the SVJ and the 6M5 LT today, but they're not actually coming in here. So there'll be a possession date where we'll be able to take the keys to this place and immediately hit the ground running and start changing and renovating and doing what we wanna to do to make this our place, your place, and a place we can all come together and keep keep the daily driven exotics lifestyle and community even closer together. I think the really big thing now is like all those rooms we have, the, the lifts make sense. That's obvious, the cars go on it. But so this is more than that. This is the community house. This is like, I don't even know what the possibilities are. I think the audience needs to comment below, like all those rooms, what do we do with them? 
What do you guys want to see happen? What could we do? It's pretty limitless. It's pretty limitless. We're gonna get more lights in here, by the way. A ton of more lights. This place is gonna be super well lit in the sense that we'll be able to, it'll be a great place and environment to both film and also display the car. So like when we say we have that open house or whatever we're gonna do for some future event so you guys can just come and see the stuff and come and see us and hang out, we're pretty stoked, man. I couldn't be more happy. Well, yeah, Dave's not gonna give himself credit, but like <laughs> we were working with a realtor on our side and then there's obviously a realtor on the owner side. Some things just weren't working out. And Dave took the initiative to contact the realtor who was on the owner side instead of just working with the person we were working with and solved the problem, some miscommunication. Let's just leave it at that. And basically got us this place. I can't even tell you guys like how hard it was, but it's all thanks to Dave at the end of the day for doing all the legwork. So make sure you give him a big thanks in the comments below because everything that moves forward from here was because he took a lot of really good steps for us. So be good for this appreciate you, you buddy. Now tell a joke. Now here's the thing. No, this isn't really a joke. I think, hear me out, we get a Starbucks franchise inside here. <laughs> full Starbucks, one of the rooms, you walk in as a barista. Starbucks? Starbucks doesn't like you anymore. They're done, yeah, they're one, done. One harassment case and that was it for me. They, 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 they were over it after you made those videos at Starbucks. You guys ever see the video where I came back and surprised my boss and my Lamborghini had employees in the car? <laughs> yeah, I almost got sued for that one. No you didn't. Oh yeah, it was, yeah. a, it was a thing, come on. It was a thing. Yes. Two million views though, so thanks guys for watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, this is it. It's such a big deal, it's huge news. I couldn't be more excited. And now we gotta go through the process of, well, doing the thing I actually don't like the most, moving. And waiting. Moving and waiting. Yeah. Don't like waiting. <laughs> Two of the worst things in the world for But teams. we have three cars currently down. The 720, I'm sure you guys don't need a reminder. The 720 GTR, the twin turbo F12, and the 48 GT3 Tire Slayer, which are all at Quintani in what we've now coined the DD oh graveyard. God. So <laughs> I'm thinking we get in the cars now, and we go for a nice drive up to LA, which is not close to here because we're currently in Huntington Beach. I haven't even told you guys where the location is. We are in Huntington Beach. I kid you not, four blocks that way is the beach. I'll be surfing every single day. So should we go <laughs> from here and go and show you guys and drive some of the PCH, that beautiful beach? Today is a little overcast, but it's hopefully there, it's, it's still gonna be beautiful. And we'll go up to Gintani. The good news is I know the clutch for the F12 from Dodson Motorsports was already shipped back, so they have it. Ooh. Ooh. So the F12 is like really, really close. I might've been saying that for a while, but it's really, really close now. So let's get in the cars, we'll get out of here. Here. And before you know it, DDHQ, getting the full makeover, baby. Yeah. The location is absolutely phenomenal. And as you guys can see earlier, why we fought so hard to get that building. It's for you guys, it's for us, it's for the DD family, everybody that supported us at the beginning. Kind of like the next evolution of the brand, be able to do our own road to our own cars. It's really exciting. <laughs> The beach is literally right there. If I wanted to, I could get up in the morning and go for a jog to the beach. Really, we probably drive still because it's DDE, but. <laughs> I love it. California is such an amazing place. Celsius? Celsius. I have another idea. Now that we have a DDE HQ, what's missing? DDE gas station. We need our own gas station. Oh, that'd be great. So you inquiry? <laughs> We're on a roll right now. I'm about to go see if we can lease. what else we can lease at the moment. And we always talk about how when you own these cars or lease them or whatever you do with them, <laughs> you don't ever know what the gas price is. So we can make the gas price whatever we want. Yeah, 10 bucks a gallon. only exotic cars. They'll never look. <laughs> no yeah. exotic cars. Well, let's get their look. black credit card and be like, I don't care. <laughs> I've got a Ferrari. Go get your Celsius. Take Anthony with you. I don't need one. I'm not doing energy drinks. Are you off? Not off, I'm taking a break. Anthony, personal question. Have you had a Celsius before? No. What is it? What's, well, uh, they might not have it, so this might be a moot conversation. Celsius. Moot is a debatable subject, if you're okay with that. You what about what the, the, the rocks uh, energy drink? No. Have you tried that? No, no, no. no. Has to be Celsius. Has to be Celsius. There's no Celsius. Oh, oh, oh. son of a. Mm. 
kiwi guava. You gotta have one. What is this one? Really? Peach five? I don't ask, there's no sugar or anything. Okay. My doctor told me no more Red Bull is bad for my stomach lining. Having some stomach issues. Ironically, I had a really bad cough for a while, caused by a stomach issue. Don't ask me, I'm not a doctor. I like to play one sometimes. On me, you know what I want and only. All the other ones is phony. Moving like a drama mombi. Oh boy. We have lots of broken cars right now, but soon that won't be a problem anymore. We'll be able to fix them ourselves. No jokes aside, I actually enjoy learning about cars. And when I was younger, I used to work on all my own cars. Mostly of necessity, I couldn't afford to pay somebody. So back in the Honda days, I would do like motor swaps, clutch jobs, suspension work all the time. Was I good at it? It's irrelevant. It got it done, kind of. I always had extra bolts at the end, and that's not even a joke, but I'm looking forward to learning more about how these cars operate and getting my hands dirty. Uh, David can drive the cars, maybe I'll fix them. A little perfect marriage. I mean, not like an actual marriage. I mean, maybe. The tax benefits. Fucking cat dragged in. <laughs> How'd it been, Mark? Good, how are you? Wait a minute, are the boys not here yet? They're not here yet. You made it uh, first. How the hell was that really possible? Fast. I was going the slow way. Dan was in the HOV the whole time. Oh, really? He has Anthony with him, so he can take the HOV. Oh, Anthony's here. Anthony's here. Oh, shit, I better go put on He's the jacket. He's here for your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh shit. Is he getting pulled over? All right. <laughs> the cops definitely following him. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> He's turning around. Is he gonna get pulled over? Let's see what happens. There's a cop and he's following them. They were following us for a while. Oh, uh yeah? -huh. Yeah, they were, de they were debating on what they were gonna do and I said, there's no way. These guys just wanna check the car out. I was like, Alberta plates? Like, for what? Noise? I wasn't speeding, I wasn't driving like an asshole. Car's loud, so what? You guys were done. Hey, what's up, dude? Happy, Happy New Year. year. What's up? Saw the cops go by after I heard that. I was like, that sounds like our car. And then I saw a cop go by, I was like, no. All right, we got some issues with the McLaren. Gintani's gonna help out here. Gas cap's broken. I need to order parts for that. Uh, yeah, no. You don't have the part here? I'm sure it's a common McLaren issue. Oh, dude, it's it's so common. We have thousands of them. Th thousands? Yes, we, we have thousands of everything for McLaren. Because I just everything. need Velcro, to be honest with you. <laughs> and then we have a check engine light, so we're going to scan it and see, uh, you know, what I did wrong. I was running some, like, five-second quarter mile passes on oh, the freeway, yeah. and then I think, you know, didn't like that. <laughs> What's the story? Morning Glory? Uh, you're about mm, three modules in with 22 faults. 22? Yeah. You're up oh, here we go. We got five more, 27. Get out of here. All right, all right, we got we got a little bit more. Is that normal for McLaren? I mean, I love McLarens. They're great. They never have faults. Yours is such a rare case. I can't believe. Ah, 29. Yeah, we never <laughs> have any problems with McLaren. Never, eh? Hey? Never. Even Damon's good to go. Oh, Bulletproof. Dude, that, that one's that one. Shit, I don't even know why he brought it back. It was perfect. It's perfectly it. good. Well, it's yeah, here for an oil change, bro. <laughs> never quiet around here when the dyno is running with Alex on it. So we got the 488 broken, still no diagnosis. These guys are busy, can't blame them. This is the perfect and prime reason why we got the shop because we could have dug into this right away. We could have got it solved, parts ordered, and probably back on the road by now. At the end of the day, Alex and the team here, they've always done their best. We love these guys. We'll continue working with the masters of the flame. But in the meantime, what do you think of the car from a visual perspective? Because there's another car you haven't seen. It's really cool to finally see it because the last time I saw this car was at Fast Track in Vancouver and we were all holding up the parts for your thumbnail. Oh the yeah! Red car. And I think Dave was holding the wing out the back. <laughs> it looks really good, dude. I mean, I, I remember the 458. This, by the way, is the exact wrap design that went on the 458. I, I love panel this by panel, so happy we recreated it. The only thing we changed were like basically, you know, faded in. The, the, the fade. Yeah, the fade the, really this cool. is all printed. So like oh, August wow. luxury motor, cars all in there. But other than that, this is identical. Like one to one panel by panel exactly the same pfs is so meticulous dude they, they killed it uh, everything is awesome when well, you look at it from the Even front the wheels we did get rid of the yellow headlights because at the moment uh, the yellow tint was coming out kind of milky yeah so i think it was like a bit of a defective thing they got some clear stuff on order so as much as some of you were happy i took it off it will go back to a yellow headlight i like that gt3 race car look i miss this car we can't wait to get it back on the road but for now it's here with garbage bags on it uh what else we got we have 
the 720 GTR project. The motor is being shipped as we speak. And then it's just a matter of finding time somewhere in the mess of all of this to get it in the shop, get the motor put back in, get those upgraded turbos put on, and obviously get to the tuning and all that. The one car that I don't think is here, I think it's a, is it? You can look at it. The TTF 12? Mm -hmm. So these guys are super busy. Like Alex is in there, he's on the dyno. They've got SVJs, they got turbo Porsches. Uh, they've got other 488s and another Aventador and they're, they're super busy. So I'm honestly not gonna go and get in their face today with a camera. Alex, I'm sure he says hi. Much love to the Gintani crew. By the way, they got this beautiful Pista sitting out front here. How sick is that? I actually love the Pista. I love the Pista, dude. Right? Absolutely. What do we got here? That's pretty freaking cool. Oh, gee. So as you can see, this is the twin turbo F12 hiding under the cover here. All it really needs, the big, big, big thing was the clutch. The clutch could not handle the thousand wheel horsepower it was putting down, which is crazy. It does also need two fuel pumps, as Alex has said before, I'm kind of reiterating here, to go into the gas tank because it's basically right at its maximum point right now. And it could really use like the pull of some extra fuel he can change a little bit of the tuning, but for the most part, the car does run really, really well. The only issue with right now is it can't run on like a 91. It has to run on a race fuel, like a 101 or whatever it was, 100, which I would have to buy in cans just to drive the car around. And we really want to get to where it can drive on 91. That's why it needs the bigger pump. So for now it's doing okay, but we'll make it so it's street ready. Clutch, two bigger pumps, and we're also going to put bigger turbos on it. Yeah bigger turbos, make it a little easier to drive so that the power is a little more linear, bigger flames, <laughs> more flames. And then what I'm gonna do is we have new wheels coming for the car and I'm gonna completely change the color design. Ooh. So stay tuned for that, really excited. This car should be back on the road and actually we'll be able to see how fast it really is. Like we, bro we brought a broken car to Hoonigan. We did. Hoon Hoonicorn versus the world too. Hoonigan, Hoonicorn, too many H's. Hoonigan, Hoonicorn versus the world, and the car got there but barely, barely moved. But he was slip, 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 all down the track. It looked good. It looked, it looked good. great. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you gotta give a 14-year-old girl a bit of a chance. Oh, for sure. Uh, all jokes aside, Leo is an amazing driver. Super jelly, by the way, that she got to drive daddy's car. That car is f***ing bad. But right now, we're hungry. We gotta go eat, you guys. This is the first video back. We have tons of epic content. We have a crazy, crazy Aventador that we're gonna show you in the next video. A good friend of ours built this car. It's wide body, it shoots flames. It's everything that is DDE. And he's helped us out so much with so many issues with the cops. So stay tuned for the next video because we're also going on a little night rally, which always gets really hectic. I'm Crazy, so rowdy, cops. So excited! And we just missed getting pulled over. I bet you tonight we do. I hope so. All right, you guys, smash the subscribe button. Dave, you pumped? Next, the next chapter of DD is here, man. Up and up and up. And thanks again to Athletic Green for sponsoring our video. See you guys in the next one. Oil change. Right, uh, so I don't understand how this car has 29 faults. Well, I mean, did you look at the owner? No, I can't even see him. <laughs>